guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we're going to go ahead and take our girl STR Kefla into the Gathering of the God of Destruction event. Now, Kefla to me, I, I don't know that she's really going to be the most impressive in here. But here's the thing with Kefla, right? You know, it, I, I've talked about this a lot. The thing with the Gathering of the God of Destruction event, right? is that a huge portion of how good or relevant a character could be in here is the teams they're on. Like, are their good partners able to be run on that same team? Are they going to be effective against the God of Destruction and not get molly right away? Well, here's the thing. Kefla actually has a perfect team. The Peppy Gal slash uh, Defender of Justice team, right? Um, Kefla on this team has everything she needs to be good. Kabe is good enough um, as a 50% sport to just leave him on rotation with Kefla. I actually think this is going to work. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, the thing about Kabe, right, is that he could be... All right, I, I really was hoping that we would get the two of them in the same rotation right away. We did not get that. I mean, that's okay. Um, but the thing about Kabe, right, is that he can be good defensively after he super attacks a bunch. He's going to be creating the orbs for Kefla, which she needs. Uh, yeah, again, the, the orbs for Kefla are going to be a problem. Uh, that, that, that This is the biggest problem with, with Kefla, right? Um, Damn it. Th this, see, this, this, is, uh, this is not great. I'm just going to leave Kefla right here. Let, let's see how Kefla does um, against just the normal attacks, right? Um, I think she's not going to do very good. We know how Kefla is. Right, she needs to get her six orbs. If you're not lucky with the six orbs, she's not going to be too good. Uh, we do have her in a good linking situation with Tech Khalifa or SCR Kale, but this turn... Okay, this, this is going to hurt a little bit, at least. Okay, 130. I mean, that's it's that's doable. Um, Kale takes 100k as well. Remember that Kale, the thing about... Uh, yeah, dude, Kefla. At next turn, Kefla will be better because she's going to transform into Super Saiyan, right? She definitely gets stronger as she's transforming. But it's like, Kefla is a unit that is reliant upon, like, Kabe. Like, once we get Kabe over there, you know, he's giving her the extra defense. He's giving her the uh, STR orbs as well. So that Kefla, you know, could, you know, very commonly get the six orbs with Kabe on rotation. So we should be able to get it done with uh, Kabe over there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sort of float him off. Now, I want to try my best to not turn this into the Videl showcase. Uh... Because, like, having double Videl on the team, it would be very easy for Videl to just completely begin to dominate. And then, uh, you know, she just completely steals the show. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to sort of keep her out of harm's... Or keep her out of the way. I, I don't want Videl to completely take over. I'm going to use an item right here. Just more so set so we're at full health going into this next stage with Kefla. Um, again, Tech Ultimate Gohan um, is on the Defenders of Justice category. So that's going to be very good, right, to be able to, to you know, pair alongside Videl, get on this team as well. Like an extra sort of, like, sort of tanky option um, that Tech Ultimate Gohan is going to be, right? Now, Videl gets on this team. <clears throat> don't forget that Kefla, too. Um, that, you know, this team led by Videl, it's a four key and one 70% across the board team. So Kefla, again, th th this is like... Like, it's as good as it's going to get for Kefla, right? Like, we definitely have a really good situation for her. All right, so her defense is going to go up after she transforms right here. Uh, very, very likely that our girl Kefla at this point... Yeah, I think she's going to be able to take double digits. And we're able to get the six orbs this time. All right, so Kefla is going to do uh, a lot more damage on this rotation than she did on the last rotation. And, you know, she could dodge, which is good. Okay, okay. This is big for Videl, by the way, because um, Videl... Or, wow, okay, Kefla, thanks. Kefla has 50% chance to dodge. So does Videl. Um, uh, but, <laughs> but, but if Videl had dodged, she gets super effective against all types. If she gets hit by that, she gets a huge attack buff, right? That's where Videl... Videl can be crazy good in this stage um, because, again, like you don't have to have her in the first slot for her to be hit. So like that helps activate a lot of different portions of Videl's kit. Now, the other thing that's going to happen, too, is next turn when Kabe gets here, um, Kefla is going to be Super Saiyan 2. Well, in order to go Super Saiyan 2, she does have to have um, over 60% HP. So, I think I probably am going to use another item just to ensure that we uh, 
Five million, huh? Okay. Videl is just too crazy, dude. Like, huh. all right, I'm, I'm using an item because uh, if I don't use this item right here, um, Videl is not going to transform, um, and we need that. And I also want Videl, or excuse me, uh, Kevlar's not going to transform next turn. And I also want Videl to miss this super attack. Thanks, Videl. But again, we don't need you completely stealing the show, girl. You you could just chill. <laughs> Videl, I promise it'll be okay. If you don't kill the boss single-handedly, all right? We're going we're gonna to let Kefla handle this. Now, again, the thing about Kefla um, is that she's going to be able to transform into her Super Saiyan 2 form because we'll be over 60% HP. The other thing that's going to happen is Kefla um, is going to be able to use her active skill uh, because of the fact that we're going up against a universal survival saga enemy. So, uh, I, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pop her active skill right away. Let's see what the... Maybe let me see what the orbs look like because um, we're definitely not going to finish off moscow the turn after this so maybe if the orbs aren't looking too good right here um i'll use it uh oh actually yeah it'll be ideal to use it right now because the thing about kefla's active skill um is it changes physical orbs into str right and it also makes her become super effective against all types so let's go ahead and uh, see what our girl kefla's active skill looks like right here real fast All right, so again, Kefla can do her active skill, um, provided there is a pure Saiyan enemy or a universal survival saga enemy. Obviously, all the gods of destruction are a universal survival saga. Um, damn, see, the only thing that does suck about this is... I mean, I'm pretty certain I could still... I think I'm going to do this. Just because I want to really max Kefla out, I think I can hit this right here, and we'll still be able to get the six orbs that we need. Yes, her active skill did did help out good. Okay, so remember, now Kefla has a lot of... Her defense is going to be really good, especially with Kabe here. Um, I, it is a very important that Kabe super attacks because he gives himself the nine-turn attack and offensive buff. So that will make him look really good as well. He could be able to handle himself against Moscow. Yeah, here we go. Kefla, 4.39. Super effective against all types as well. And oh, by the way, we got one more guaranteed incoming. And she's stacking. So, you know, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, like I did the level 10 link video for her. And it's like Super Saiyan 2 Kefla is very good. Um, I, I actually think she's pretty solid, right? And like there, we saw it right there. Like, like, like Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, she's sort of like a way worse version of Videl. Super Super Saiyan 2 Kefla is. Um, but again, you don't get to that until like at least minimum turn 5. And then also, dude, Kefla has not... What's annoying is that, you know, in base and Super Saiyan, Kefla can get her 50% uh, uh, chance to dodge with the 6 orbs. Super Saiyan 2, she just has it by default. We, But we're not... She's not activating it. It's pissing me off. Um, Kefla, dodge -a. Dodge! You, you, this is a showcase for you. You need to make yourself look good, Kefla. Hello. Um, but yeah, being able to run, like, you guys know how good the, um, the, all the Universe 6 girls are, right? Kefla, Kale, um, all these characters are just, like, really, really solid. So, uh, being able to run all of them, uh, is going to make this, you know, just, just fine. Like, like, Kefla, Kale, like, like, Khalifa, Kale. Um, that's why, I like, Peppy Gals is, is pretty good. But it's, like, just the Universe 6 girls, right? Like, a lot of the, like, like just actual peppy gals have aged. Like, it's like, you look at them, and it's like, oh, my God. Like, 120% defense of the whole rotation. She's so good. And it's like, but, well, yeah, until you start using her. And then she's not really so good, right? Like, that's the type of shit that happens. Um, all right. I guess I'll, I could put Kabe in slot one right here. And then Kefla gets her six orbs. The six orbs, remember, gives her a guaranteed double super. Um, I mean, we're looking good. Super Saiyan, Battlefield Diva, Warriors of Universe 6, and Fierce Battle all active. So, again, Kefla works real good. Kabe has higher defense than Kefla does, too, by the way. Again, I've gone over and over how good Kabe and the Int Kid Gohan are. I actually have to link level both of them. 50% um, support Kabe, 50% support hit, and then the Int Kid Gohan 50% Int support. 
I need to level uh, link level all of them because I frequently am using them in difficult content because they're just super damn good, right? And you know, Cave's defense goes up after he's supering and stuff like that. All right, Kefla, what are we at? 4.58. So there we go. Uh, remember, she is now not super effective against all types. She only has that on the turn where she's used her active skill, but she's doing good damage, right? Like you know, the the the, the double super is ridiculously powerful, right? Like that's a like. Characters that can double super tend to output just so much more damage. This was a good turn by Kefla, too, um, because we saw Kefla, um, whatchamacallit, uh, we saw her dodge Moscow's super attack, which is really, really helpful, right? Um, okay, so, I don't know, I guess we'll try and do one more turn here. I mean, we are pretty much good to go. I, I mean, I could save all these orbs. We can put Kefla in slot one. Uh, let me know what you guys think of our girl, uh, Kefla, here in the God of Destruction event. Honestly, she's good. Um, she works easily, right? Like, a, a huge factor in the God event is, like, suitable partners around you. Like, the de or Kefla is better in the God event than, like, easy a physical Final Form cooler. And it's not because of the unit itself, but because of the characters surrounding them, Right? Like, it seems like Kefla is just in a much better situation for herself. Because Videl's team is ridiculous. Like, Defenders of Justice, like, a category by itself is maybe not the craziest. But it's, like, the same with Peppy Gals. But when you smash the two together, you get a pretty solid team. Like, Videl's, like, the two categories individually, it's like, eh. But together, it's like, wait a minute. We, we're, we're, we're cooking now. We got some stuff going on here. So, here, we'll, we'll give Kefla one more turn. Um, and then we'll finish up. Um, again, let me know what you guys think of our girl, Kefla. Um, I do think she is not that good until she goes Super Saiyan 2. And then she is pretty good at Super Saiyan 2. I, I do like the Super Saiyan 2 version of Kefla. Because um, she has the, the you know reasonable defense and the dodge chance. It, like She has 50% dodge at the start of turn. She doesn't have to get orbs to dodge when she's Super Saiyan 2. Which just helps out a lot, right? So, Kefla... Kefla actually can get it done in the God event, man. Um, you know, again, a lot of it has to do with the characters that are around her. Um, but, like, there we go. Like, Kefla did very good. I mean, Kefla, I think, did probably the most damage total uh, of anyone on the team right there. I mean, obviously, Videl would have done 50 billion more had I, you know, been trying to. But Kefla did the most damage on the team right there. Like, she looked fine. Like, you know, it. I mean, provided you've got Videl <laughs> to run the team. Kefla can look really good, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, a Universe 6 team will definitely be fine, right? You know, rocking double Kefla can be a bit spooky, I guess. Um, you know, at least until she's Super Saiyan 2 again. But, like, it can get the job done. So there you go, Kefla. Kefla did pretty good in this video. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.